Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I go by the name Blue Living. And today we want to talk to you about all things beauty. I wanted to start off with showing you my outfit. I told you that I am a cabbie stylist and cabbie, style, cabbie is a women's clothing company. This is my spring rack of clothes and it is coming to an end. The new fall winter collection comes in in July. So this is a few pieces from the spring collection. Now, let's get ready and put on <laughs> some makeup. You know, we like to talk all things beauty and we wanna look beautiful on the outside, but we know beauty really comes from within. So let me get myself centered better. Okay. Not used to moving all around. I am trying to stick with doing um, Pat McGrath this week because tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Friday is her birthday. So, I am going to start out with just a little bit of color correcting. And I have been using the Fenty pumpkin stick and I've, I've showed you guys that several times. I didn't pull out everything that I needed. Let me just go ahead and start out with these eyebrows. Got a little, get a little bit of shape. I am, I cannot believe I'm to the end of this hooded pencil. It did not, I know I used it a lot, but it did not last. I don't even think two months. I don't think it lasted two months. Pretty sure I get more out of my ABH pencils. They have the skinniest, finest little point that I have found outside of my um, ABH. I did try a Milani pencil once and that did really good. It just, I had it, was carrying it in my purse and it broke. And I, I never replaced it. So I'm gonna bring out my Gucci pencil this morning. I really like this pencil. And when it's sharp, I can use the point to do brow strokes. Doesn't stay sharp and it's really light. So I do recommend this pencil, but it is more for ladies that have brows and don't have to do a lot to create them. I like it. It fills in. I'm okay with having to use several. Some people want one, one and done, don't want to have to do a lot. And that's okay. This is the number nine, 9D, 90, the number 90. So I'm going to go in with a little powder. Now 
Now, for this outfit, because I will be at work today, I won't be having my cold shoulder going on. <laughs> but very nice, comfy, um, lightweight sweater. It's a tank top, which is cabby also underneath. And cute summer, spring, cold shoulder, fun outfit. I'm going to just use this Merit um, because it's right here. Okay, now I need to work fast. I may end up speeding up this video. I tell you the smallest little bit comes out. But you have to be careful because it's a lot. Okay. So we have our um, Pat McGrath in the number 21. Give it a good shake. I do want to put a little primer on, and I am going to use this hourglass, and I am just going to push it here in my pores. I've been really liking how. This blurs my pores, but I'm wondering if it caused this little blemish in the middle because that was new after I used that the last time. Okay, so it's real watery, so you have to be careful. I am going to use this Sephora brush. I wonder how many people use their liquid foundation brushes more than once without washing them. <clears throat> because, I don't know, I have three here, sitting here from, I guess, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I just feel like Bacteria might be have built up in them over overnight sitting because you know they're still a little damp with product. So I keep finding myself now that I'm not doing my makeup in my bathroom. I don't wash them every day. I just set them aside and I don't, I don't use them and I keep looking for more foundation brushes. I'm like, okay, I got to figure this out because, or I'm just going to have to wash them more often because this little foundation brush jar and I want it to get out of control, and I know it will if I don't fix that and wash them. Just move them around, wash them. I have 
<clears throat> this Esom Gentle Brush Cleaner. And I feel okay with using that. <clears throat> it's this alcohol. I'm pre I think this is just alcohol. Well, there's some other stuff in here, but conditioning like lanol, lanolin, glycerin, but mainly alcohol to sanitize your brushes. And it really says you can use it between cleanings. So maybe I need to get in the habit of doing that. So next we're going to use the Pat McGrath. I'm not going to put the red um, number 20 under there today. I'm just going to use 18 because I put so much of um, the other. So I'm just going to use this. No, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my... Chantecaille rose water too, just so it won't be so dry. <clears throat> and then I'm going to blend that out. go too far up there because of that blemish all right and we are going to use the Pat McGrath blurring powder and I have the color medium have to do real light real light because this will get a little drying on me I have the face powder as well number three but it's really red so I have to pick and choose when I can use that I'm going to have to use my Dior brown bronzer because I don't have. Bronzer. I'm going to use this Sephora brush. Oh, wait. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this Pro bronzer, this big one. This bronzer is so gorgeous. I don't want to overdo it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it blurs the pores pretty good. Okay. I have been wearing my Desert Orchard out and I was hoping my other two blushes would have come by the end of the week, but maybe they will. And, but I'm gonna use my Divine Rose today. And this was one of the matte blushes. Yeah, Divine Rose. And I am going to use Pat's blush brush. I don't even know what I did with the new little brush. I was so mad at it. I mean, really, was I that mad at it? I mean, I really can't find it. It's somewhere. And we want to take it up to bring my face back a little bit. And um, these cheeks 
try to <laughs> make it look like I have a cheek. You know how some people have that nice cheekbone? So, all right, for, let's see. I thought I had four palettes, but I only have three. I have the Mothership. This mothership. And then I have the mothership subliminal. And then I have the decadent rose. What is this? This is a mothership palette too, but it is what is the name of it? Yeah, Rose Decadence. I said it backwards. So I had this one on yesterday. So I'm gonna use this one. And I do have some singles that I I like to use as well. So I have Celestial, and this even might be in one of the palettes. And then I have, um, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to see these. I'm just going to show them to you. And they're all like crease shades. Or no, this one has some shimmer in it. The Celestial has um, some shimmer in it. So I'm going to go in with this one. Nope, sorry. Can't see it. And it's just so... Uh, and... Because... You know, this neutral, brown, natural look is what I like. I like color. I need to play with it more. Um, I think I just don't show, don't try to make enough color looks for every day because I do need it to be professional and practical to some extent. And this is a Sonia G. Um, crease, classic crease. I almost don't want to, I almost don't want to use this. I'm just going to leave this just like it is. And got my Pat McGrath eye pencil, dark brown. This is not something I do every day because of my allergies. I just try to stay away from that waterline sometimes. And I still don't have my dark star over here. So what is this? I am just going to use my Chantecaille. I think it's time for me to throw this away. It's been six months.
All right, so that was a quick, that's what I needed to be, quick, get ready with me. And I am, let's see, let's grab some Pat McGrath lipstick. I've been wearing all of them, some of the ones that I like. This is a gloss, I have several of the glosses. And this is in Bronze Temptation. They're so good. They <clears throat> last good. They give you a little color. Not too glossy, not sticky. I really like her glosses. When If you ever see them on sale, which she has sales often on her lip products on her website i would encourage you to get some so this is my pat mcgrath look for today and thank you for watching this video i hope that you would like and subscribe and share i'm a you youtuber and i am trying to grow my channel you guys stay beautiful and have a great day bye I, I'm going to have to use my Dior brown bronzer because I don't have. Bronzer. I'm going to use this Sephora brush. Oh, wait. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this Pro bronzer, this big one. This bronzer is so gorgeous. I don't want to overdo it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it blurs the pores pretty good. Okay. I have been wearing my Desert Orchard out, and I was hoping my other two blushes would have come by the end of the week, but maybe they will. And, but I'm going to use my Divine Rose today. And this was one of the matte blushes. Yeah, Divine Rose. And I am going to use Pat's blush brush. I don't even know what I did with the new little brush. I was so mad at it. I mean, really, was I that mad at it? I mean, I really can't find it. It's somewhere. And we want to take it up to bring my face back a little bit. And um, these cheeks. Try to <laughs> make it look like I have a cheek. You know how some people have that nice cheekbone? So, all right. For, let's see. I thought I had four palettes but I only have three. I have the Mothership. This Mothership. And then I have the Mothership Subliminal. And then I have the Decadent Rose. What is this? This is a Mothership palette too but it is what is the name of it? Yeah, Rose Decadence. I said it backwards. So I had this one on yesterday. So I'm going to use this one. And I do have some singles that I, I like to use as well. So I have Celestial. And this even might 
be in one of the palettes. And then I have, um, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to see these. I'm just going to show them to you. And they're all like crease shades. Or no, this one has some shimmer in it. The Celestial has um, some shimmer in it. So I'm going to go in with this one. Nope, sorry. Can't see it. And it's just so. Uh, and. Because, you know, this neutral brown natural look is. What I like. I like color. I need to play with it more. Um, I think I just don't show, don't try to make enough color looks for every day. Because I do need it to be professional and practical to some extent. And this is a Sonia G um, crease, classic crease. Almost don't want to. I almost don't want to use this. I'm just going to leave this just like it is. And got my Pat McGrath 5 pencil, dark brown. This is not something I do every day because of my allergies. I just try to stay away from that waterline sometimes. And I still don't have my dark star over here, so it is this. I am just going to use my Chantecaille. I think it's time for me to throw this away. It's been six months. All right, so that was a quick, that's what I needed to be, quick, get ready with me. And I am, let's see, let's grab some Pat McGrath lipstick. I've been wearing all of them, some of the ones that I like. This is a gloss, I have several of the glosses. And this is Sam Bronze Temptation. They're so good. They <clears throat> last good. They give you a little color. Not too glossy, not sticky. I really like her glosses. When if you ever see them on sale, which she has sales often on her lip products on her website i would encourage you to get some so this is my pat mcgrath look for today and thank you for 
watching this video. I hope that you would like and subscribe and share. I'm a you YouTuber and I am trying to grow my channel. You guys stay beautiful and have a great day. Bye.